Ladies and gentlemen, want to use icons like me? Well, check out U7 Buy. Select the coins you need. Type in JD for a cheeky 5% off. Link in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we look at Luis Figo, the prime card. Four star, four star combination. Five. He's 5'11", exactly same height as me, high-low work rates which are fantastic. This car looks absolutely sensational. Now, we're going to use him in the right attacking midfield position, in the ramp position, and maybe switch him up to strike as well. Now, what did I think about him? Now, his World Cup version is better than this card, partly because, obviously, the 5-star skills are huge on this card. And I do want to say that the World Cup version of this card, the Figo card, was one of the best cards I've used and I gave him a 9.6 out of 10. He scored me some ridiculous goals, scored me some goals from outside of the box and I do think that his prime version is also really, really good. Now, I don't know why we're having this conversation but I genuinely think when I talk to people about FIFA, a lot of people think the same as me. I think Luis Figo is a slept on icon. People don't really care about him. People don't really speak about him. He's not really a popular icon in the game. However, he is absolutely brilliant. He's really fast. I think with the Hawk, it really gives him a, a physical boost. He was very, very physical. Fantastic shooting. When it comes to his shooting, his long shots are fantastic. And also, because he's got really high shot power, he usually gets that ball at the back of the deck. 9 times out of 10. I find him to be very, very clinical. Every time I've given him the ball, he's got that ball at the back of the net. This is a fantastic card. He's physical. He's very strong. He's got 4-star, four 4-star four combination. Again, with the World Cup version, I would have, I love the 5-star skills. You know, I'm a massive advocate of 5-star skills. I just think they give you a different variation. I think they give you a little additional support because let's say you just do La Croqueta or Berber on the wing. Your opponent's going to be like, right, okay, it's either one or the other. And so he's limited uh, with five star skills you're not limited and uh, that's the kind of important point there but yeah overall just a really nice card sensational passing sensational pace great shooting physical four star four star this is the type of card that is genuinely underrated and he was really good i think this card he could use towards the end of the game as well i genuinely think that on that wing he's really good he'll be really good in a camp position he's even a really good striker he's got great pace just a fantastic card and I think to get a prime icon when they've just come out on Friday, so it's literally been a couple of days and I bought this card, I sniped him for 600,000 coins. Yeah, he plays like a million coin player. I'm telling you now, he plays like a million coin card. Sensational card, just really, really well rounded. Doesn't do, hasn't got any flaws to his game because he can do everything. However, I don't think he's unbelievable like his World Cup version. But I'm going to give this card a 9.2 out of 10. I really liked him. I really did. And I do massively recommend him. Weaknesses, I can't find any. I just don't know what he does wrong because he does everything right. Thank you.